Hi, welcome to our educational video on Delta V Mix. What is Delta V Mix? Great question. Delta V Mix describes how volume changes as a result of the mixing process. To learn more about the math behind this and its applications in the industrial world, let's head over to Leah and Helena. Leah? Hey team. So for any extensive or intensive property, the change in uh, any of those properties with mixing can be related to the total amount of the property minus the individual contributions by each component. So in the case of volume, which can be used in the mixing of two species such as corn syrup and water, for example, a company or business can provide some uh, experimental data through you know, just experiments and testing, and they can use that data based on different mole fractions of those species to come up with an equation which represents the total uh, molar volume depending on those mole fractions. Those coefficients and uh, values can then be used to calculate the change in molar volume when mixing, which in the case of two species can, can be represented by a oh, what's that called? coefficient multiplied by the mole fraction of one component multiplied by the uh, mole fraction of the other component. Now for a little bit more information about this, let's go to Helena. Hello everyone, thank you so much for that introduction, Leah. Now I'm gonna talk about the application of Delta V Mix in a, the beverage industry, Coca-Cola for example. Coca-Cola is comprised of wa mainly water and corn syrup. So you can see in three cases of Delta V Mix how they could interact, the intermolecular forces can interact. Um, the first one is equal to zero. The second case is if it's less than zero, which means the species are closer and packed more tightly together as opposed to the species being individually by themselves. The third case is if delta V mix is greater than zero, which means the species are pushing away from each other. So this can be useful for engineers in the beverage industry to see how big of a tank you need for mixing these ingredients together, but also to see how much product is obtained at the end um, for how the species interact with each other.